Okay, today is another taping session and this time it's for your hamstrings. Now, we're gonna do K-taping or kinesio taping for the hamstrings for people who have got tight hammies or recovering from a tear and they're returning to sport. So this is for people who are training or going to training. They need a little bit more help with the taping to get them through the training so it stops tightening up. And it's also really good for people who have sort of old tears or they've had a tear, they've had it rehab, repaired, and they're just not quite 100%, but they need to start training. The taping's super helpful. And I'll show you which the way we do it with just doing for general tightness and general sort of muscle guarding. And then also when you've got a bit of a tear on inside that to try and protect that tear as we sort of overlay it, like a Band-Aid. So what you do, kinesio taping, what I'll do is measure what you're doing first before you put them in position because you're going to have to get them on a bed with their leg off. Now it's quite hard sometimes at games, you usually have to have a table, but we need that hamstring on stretch. So before you do that, I'll measure how long you're going to, you got to get this one right because you want to get the hamstring taping exactly the right distance. So you think of like, I'm going to tape this above the issue tuberosity, sort of on, up above the glute, to the bottom of the hamstring. Because I'm stretching it, I don't want the full length of the hamstring. I only want to go to say the knee fold. Okay, that's how long I want to tape because what's going to happen is when I stretch it, it's going to go longer onto the attachment. So if you measure, imagine like from the say the gluteal fold to the back of the knee fold, that's how long you need to cut that each bit of tape. Now I'm going to show you doing it for three taping. What I like doing is think hamstrings, there's three hamstrings tape three times, okay? So to be two medial, one lateral, right? So just the easiest thing to do, measure one, cut three times. Okay, and then you've got your three hamstrings. Doesn't have to be absolutely exact, but pretty much the same. Before you do anything else, cut the ends because you want the ends to be nice and rounded so they don't flick on clothing, shorts, socks, that sort of stuff. Grab all three together cut around like that, okay? Do it on both ends, measure them all up together. Easy peasy, cut a corner off. I usually go around one sort of scoop, like that, all right? Now, you're gonna think, okay, one's going from this tube where I see where the common origin is to the lateral and two are going medial and I sort of would overlap the two, one on sort of top of each other because they're very close together. You can come down on their sort of midline and then and the inside and then go, they sort of meet together. Um, I don't really mind too much about that. So let's do the lateral one first. What you need to do is put them on stretch. So if we get you off the bed, so just come to the side. They need to bring the leg off the bed and it needs to be high enough that they put their foot on the ground. Now you really want to think about, this is not the hamstring on full stretch. Think about it's like mid-range stretch, okay? The best thing that these tapings work is when that muscle is on stretch. So. What you want to aim for is doing the origin first. So we'll just tuck this up into here. You want to go, think of like where the top of the hamstring is. You want to go up sort of above that initial tuberosity if you like. Remember the attachment point, which is going to be about say two inches, okay, at least, maybe three, is going to be no tension. So that, because you don't want tension on that because when you pull it, it's going to just rip it off. So, you know, this thing's going to stay on for a whole sort of game. You want that not moving. So straight on top of that, okay? Make sure you really anchor that down, okay? Make sure it's tight in there. Make sure it's sort of really pushed on and sort of almost like set before you go and pull on it. But then you can see I've got a strong anchor there. Then you bring it all the way out and think, I'm gonna go lateral. What I want you to do is just see where that hamstring is, okay? So I want to go full stretch like that, okay? So about almost 75% of that down and then you start having to go around look where that hamstring line is look where the fibular head is and you go right down over like that okay so you want to come across into that whole region there and so you're almost coming to the front of the chin shin if this is quite long you can actually keep going wrapping around onto the shin i don't mind okay but remember that the hamstring attachment is on that fibular head okay so you need to come over the fibular head think of like i went above that attachment here you want to go below the attachment there. That section has got zero. Okay, so there's your fibula, um, biceps femoris one. Then just make sure that glue sort of sets a little bit before they start moving. Okay, so you just warm it up, push it all down. The heat of your hand and the friction of that 
tends to sort of melt the glue a little bit, it sets a lot better. Okay, just make sure no, nothing's pulling out or anything like that before they move, okay? If you stretch this too much sometimes, it just doesn't stick well enough. So maybe 75, 80%, probably not 100% with this one. Okay, so there's your lateral one, and then you're gonna work on your next one. Now, I would say go medial first and then, well, midline first and medial second. So, with this one, think where's that attachment point? There it is there. Now I'd go perhaps overlay it a little bit. Okay, so you think, okay, I'm gonna go there. All right, that section there, good. Pull it out, make sure that's really pushed down, and then you can almost hold it, if you like, stretch it out, go midline, think, okay, where am I gonna go? You can go down the midline there, and then over medially, and right round onto the attachment point in the tibia there, okay? So then this one's going onto the tibia, really push that down, into there. Lots of heat into that. See where all the bits sort of pop up. Try and push all those down. Okay, and then you overlay the last one a little more lateral. Okay. Probably the same attachment point, to be fair. So you find that attachment point again. Just be careful you don't stuck stick that, touch that tape too much because you'll lose some of the stick. There you go there, stick it down, good, good, there we go, remember, try and don't take all that tape off, use, this is a little note there, see I can use that so I don't have to, my finger doesn't get stuck, okay, so I can hold that there, stretch it out, work out where your 100% is, go back to sort of about 80, you can overlay it, see I'm going overlaying half of it, come a little bit more medially, and then that last section, zero, right? Take it off, there like that, all right? Really get it down. Like I said, it can go all the way around. If your tape is too long, the last thing you want is too short. You don't want to be ending here, okay? If it's too short, you won't get it over on the attachment point and it's not gonna work properly. If you wanna go all the way down, then like I said, you can go right over if you want to and just follow that same sort of anchor line. And we'll that down. And then up they come, back on the bed, happy days. And there's your sort of, two medial, one lateral hamstring taping, which is gonna work really well. And you'll probably find that that is you know, really helpful. They can feel that support when they're running. Um, if they've got a hamstring tear, that's sort of like you've diagnosed, it's confirmed, you've rehabbed that, it's coming back to almost normal, they're sitting around sort of 90% of that, and they are training, you can protect that um, tear a little bit more. Some of this is a bit of a placebo because they can really feel the support there. So it helps them relax a bit more. So say if you had a biceps femoris tear here, right? So midline belly tear. And we're not talking like a tear in the tendon. We're talking about muscle tear. You can then cross over like a big band-aid. So I would take about maybe three, one, two, three, like that. Okay, so three meaning three squares. So this, so if you one, two, three, if you like. Do two of those. I wouldn't do too many of this because it just gets just too much tape and they feel like this just bandaged up too much. Same thing about the edges. Do that. Same with this one. Okay, try and get them sort of even. Under there. Right. And then if you imagine like say the tears right in the middle, you can feel, you know, there's some old tenderness there. They can run, they can do everything, but they just need a little bit more support. What I would do, and this is where you do take off the tape, but what I'd do is think, okay, I need an inch and a half or so of anchor point. I put my finger there, and this one here, like that. Almost like a, think of like a Band-Aid. And I'm gonna, if the, if the line is like that, that's the line of the muscle, I wanna cross over it in a diagonal, okay? So I'm gonna pull this on like that, and then, zero anchor, zero anchor, make sense? All right, and then do the opposite the other way. And what it does, think of like, it's pulling the fibers together from both angles, it's sort of holding them together, that makes sense. So, just gives that muscle more support. Same sort of thing, third finger, third finger, all right. Go 45 degree angle the other way, like that. 
trying to get any little creases like that in there. Stick all that down. And what that's going to do, like I said, it's just going to pull that hamstring a little bit tight like that and give that sense of activation over the skin. You, every time they sort of contract, relax, they can feel that, you'll get a, get a little bit more support through there. And they'll just, you know, emotionally they'll feel better when they're running. So that's my hamstring taping. See how that goes. See you next time.